Hello everyone, welcome back, it's Chuck Thunder, we're here with another episode, we're doing a quick one, nothing too much crazy here to talk about, um, just a quick update of what we're doing and to wish you guys all a happy Thanksgiving if you're here in the United States celebrating that holiday, we are going to do something simple today and show you what I've been up to with this tune and what my plan is, so as you know I am still doing ship grinding, shipbuilding grind, so all I'm really up to at this point is I have been sailing back and forth to try to get my um, uh, ship building time in but on top of that I went and sailed to Venice and picked up a skill that I need to grind a little bit and that's the crafts trading skill I need to grind it so I can get at least a level 2 so I can pick up art trading and then with art trading level 2 I'm gonna pick up handicrafts um, I could go pick up a, a, a job that gives me these things uh, favored so I can cut the time in half but honestly it's such a minor issue for getting to level 2 um, with each of them so I'm just going back and forth to a couple places and picking up some crafts and then I'm going to get art trading which is in Marseille sorry Venice again and then I'm going to pick up handicrafts and I believe that's in Marseille yeah or Naples so that's been the plan with this tune all along I'm not doing anything crazy I'm not going to show you everything but as soon as I get to handicrafts um, I'm going to show you guys how to level handicrafts. Um, uh, the best ways that I will know how to do it in this area here, down in the Mediterranean. Um, like I said, you need to at least get to it first, and the only way to get to it is to level up crafts and art trading to level 2, so that picking up art trading, and so you can get to handicrafts. Um, I don't think I can buy it without having that. I couldn't buy art trading in Venice when I was there because I didn't have level 2 crafts. So. I was there, I bought some glass work, I bought some, you know, uh, right now I'm currently carrying something from Seville leather work, and I'm going to sell that in Marseille and see what Marseille has, and I'm just going to pretty much buy every place that I go to to try to get um, my craft skill up, and then I'll buy art, do the same thing, um, until everything has been um, leveled up so I can do it. So I'm not going to show you guys that process, that process seems to be self-explanatory if you find a good grinding spot between two cities. Be my guest to grind those things. I'm also trying to do my shipbuilding skill at the same time, so that shipbuilding skill situation is going to take me some time. So, really, no reason in showing you guys that process. I'm going to just keep on doing what I'm doing, incidentally, while I level up other things. Probably should have done shipbuilding a long time ago because this is something you could easily do along with your regular sailing time while you do other things. That's why I told her, chose to pick up handicrafts because I figured it's a great thing to do while I grind it's the um, handicraft skill too as well. Because I'm sure in order to grind handicrafts, I'm going to need all sorts of different things. Um, I'm not doing sewing with this tune. I'm doing sewing with a different tune. Um, I just need to get that get that tune that I have uh, for sewing. I need to get them out of the Caribbean or not the Caribbean. Um, uh, the Southeast Asia because he can't get past the circumnavigation quest right now without uh, uh, the right stuff. So something I gotta have to do at some point. But I'm not in any rush to rescue a third tune that I really have nothing invested in other than maybe a few million ducats that I can, you know, get from from a bank at any point. So you're not missing anything. Just wanted to give you guys an update of what I'm gonna be doing for the next couple of weeks. Uh, while there's still a boost, that's what I'm. My goal is to do. Um, I don't know how long this boost is going to last for. Um, honestly, I don't remember. But I was getting 300% boosts, so we're going to continue to do that. We're going to be working on... You start to become really good at multitasking in this game because I'm also working on college, which requires me to develop... My, this one requires me to do development every day at my um, uh, farm or at your um, colony or at your... Um, quarters so doing this every day gets me at least 10 and if I had quarters to update it give me 20 and if I had colonies to update it would get me 30 so um, right now I'm just going up and to my farm every day and I'm trying to add a new building and every time I add, do a development uh, thing that boosts me up 10% here so that's what I've been doing um, with this you know multitasking trying to do a little bit of everything every day until I finally reach there. Oh, and I don't know if you guys noticed, but I reached level 50 um, on my live stream. I tried trust level 50 with my um, aide, Victor, and he is now selling a ship. And he's helping me carry more stuff. 435 uh, worth of stuff. So, 
that is our plan we are working on um, getting my levels up maybe I can get into a um, clipper soon if I can get my let's see eh, about like six to seven levels off which I could easily do if I wanted to spend the time and buying some East Asia goods and sell them I might do that just to get to the clipper just to add the clipper to this because I'm tired of selling down this selling this slow slow slow, slow palaka um, I really want to work on my rowing skill because that's something I picked up too with this tune. I believe I picked up rowing. Yeah, I picked up rowing. I'd like to work on my rowing skill, but with a decently good um, ship in that regard. And right now, the only ship I have for that is my rower ship, which eh, I guess I could. Yeah, I totally could just switch over. And I might just do that just because. Again, another thing to grind. You know, keeping things. Um, going with your character at all times is a great idea to try to build up the, uh, you know, try to multitask, guys. That's the thing I'm trying to say here is do as many things as you can. Like I said, I'm working on shipbuilding, I'm working on art trading, or should say craft trading, then art trading, then handicrafts, and I'll be grinding handicrafts while I'm doing shipbuilding. And while I'm sailing around, I should be sailing a ship that I could be grinding my rowing skill with. And, all sorts of things so be sure to be doing all the things at once especially during a boost like this you definitely want to be taking advantage of it don't put yourself in a position where you're not using those things to your advantage like right now I could totally be doing um, uh, I could totally could be using let's see even more boosts I have uh, experience boosts for other purposes too which let's see I got wind speed boosts I've got experience boost which I'll save for when I'm not getting 300% boost. I guess an extra 50% is not bad now, um, but I could use that at any other time. I like to save these for when they're when I log into the game and I don't have a seat a boost and I'm grinding skills. So good idea to save for those. Here's a fame booster too. If you're gonna do something that's gonna clearly give you a lot of fame, maybe take that. And if you're gonna do a lot of port uh, hand ins all at once, that's gonna give you a lot of extra fame same thing here for seven days you know when I finally have seven days off and I'm playing a game I'm gonna use these things but I never do but hopefully that all makes sense and you guys understand what I'm doing and plus with the holiday now it's gonna be a little bit more difficult for me to get on and to make some uh, videos but I wanted to give you guys an update where I'm gonna be doing for the next probably the month and if I don't see you before the new year have a happy uh, holidays Christmas Kwanzaa Hanukkah whatever you celebrate and Happy New Year as well, guys. It's been great. I do appreciate everybody who's been watching. You guys have been awesome. I'm above 200 subscribers now. Not that I'm trying to, like, aim for some, you know, goal here. I just, I'm lost. I'm just dumbfounded by the support that everyone's given me here. And following me, even though I'm a nobody on the internet, just trying to make something happen for people who don't know what they're doing with this game. So, I do appreciate everybody's patience and, and support and everything else. Um, and, uh... I have myself, I've done myself a little something just to explore. I made a Patreon, not that anybody has to donate or anything like that. I'm not even asking for money. I, I've had it for three weeks now, and I haven't told anyone because I'm like, whatever, who cares? I don't need anybody's money, but if anybody's feeling generous this holiday season and you want to give, I would greatly appreciate it. It allows me to maybe potentially expand the needs of this channel or do a little extra with this channel. But I do appreciate everybody who who has supported with a simple subscribe and a like. That's more important than anything else to me is just building up the viewer base if possible to share my love for this game for more people. Um, there's lots of people who play this game and pretty much everybody who plays the game knows of me somehow and I do really do appreciate all the support from everybody. You guys have been awesome. Have a happy holidays and a happy new year if I don't see you before then guys. Take care.